This is a new product that we just announced at the Army's conference. It's called Eagle Eye. If I'm able to see something, you should be able to see it. If a drone can see it, you should be able to see it. $22 billion to develop this technology. The cool thing about this is it's a combination battery, computer, and ballistic plate. And so... But wait, wait, wait. First, let me show you how I built this and turn this AR headset into an Andrel Eagle Eye for under $1,000. This was once x Real Air that cost me on Facebook Marketplace about $120 or about $110 here. So these are the pieces that are last left from this. I took apart everything, the frame, the glasses, the speakers. It doesn't have any of this anymore. I departed it because I wanted to build my own glasses that had more features on it than the glasses that could support. These didn't have cameras on it. They were bulky, that stuck out far. And I wanted to make something that's super tactile and something that's very durable. And so this was my base. I removed a lot of components off the x Real Air. But that was the first part of it. So after I took apart all this, I needed to design my own glasses. So we started designing to this. This is all the prototypes it took to make the frame of just the glass. Now this is only one component of it. I started off with this. This was kind of a, I wanted this shape, but the problem was the glasses were sticking too far out. So this would actually stick farther out than it should. Then I started iterating on new versions where it was flatter in the front and around. Then we started moving on to this. This is more of like a, an AR style glasses. And then I started iterating time over time, better and better. We started making the frame of the glasses so I could see how this would fit in here and how it would fit on my face. I scanned my face using my iPhone's LiDAR sensor and then we got to this point. Now this point was pretty good. I have the vents here. This, this is to fit all electronics in here. This is for a tight fit. But then I kept going and I started building onto it. Then I started putting supports in this to make it stronger. So these glasses are really strong now. So these are some of the arms I built for the glasses. And these are actually buttons that are built into here. You just insert buttons and you solder onto some pieces. Basically connect the new buttons to the old buttons. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass, let me tell you that. And then we moved on to this, where we got the arms and everything on here. Now, it sit in my face like this. Usually, it doesn't look as good right now, obviously, because it's not finished. We moved on to this. As you can see, the two different vinyl versions. This was the final version before I sent it out to PCBWay because I have a printer, but I wanted it printed in the highest quality possible. I wanted it printed out of material that was super strong. And then I got this. This is from PCB Way. It's so clean. I mean, I'm going to make glasses out of this. So I'm gonna save this for a different glassware project. And then I started to make different electronics. So let me get onto that. And then we went to this. This used to be my Mac Mini. If you saw my old video where I turned a Mac Mini into a little saucer, I redesigned the Mac Mini. Well, this is where it went. And I actually took it out of the project that I made and I started making it for this. But there was one thing that was different about that project. If you watch one of my shorts, I actually show you how to make your Mac Mini portable. After I did that, I started designing a chest mount for this. Because I bought a, basically a motorcycle. I didn't want to buy a bulletproof vest. There's more than a, I don't want to spend that much money on a bulletproof vest. So I cut out the motorcycle vest and I built this in. So as you can see from the video, I started cutting out the vest and start making carbon fiber and fitting this into the vest. Initially, I printed this in ABS and then I moved it up to ASA carbon fiber. And then I carbon fibered it into the vest. So it'd be super strong. Sanding, carbon fibering. I hate, there's nothing more in my life that I hate than I do carbon fibering and sanding and painting and sanding and painting and sanding and painting, I hate that more than anything. And I just want things to look nice. So I spent a lot of time into it and it still was not 
100%. Okay, moving on. Before I show you the product, I wanna thank PCBWay because they actually hooked it up really amazing. Or this was actually a resin that they made clear resin out of. Now, I didn't ultimately use this for the project, this part, but I got it done because it was super cheap by them. It's like $12 to print this, so it was super cheap. They did an awesome job, so super thank you to PCBWay. Just like the watch video, I had them CNC the watch. They're really nice and they also respond right away. Highly suggested. All right, now, let me show you the full product. Okay, so here is the final product. The frame was actually from PCBWay. This is carbon fiber. This thing was printed immaculately. Now the arms I built myself, so keep in mind, we do have two different ports here. So one goes to the glasses that actually connect the wire into the computer. So the other one is actually magnetized and it goes into the glasses powering the light and it can power cameras. So I have a bunch of room here to do other things with it. Now I was gonna put camera in it, but there are camera attachments for X-Real glasses. I just didn't want to buy it. But there's a lot better things that I have to show after this too. I actually soldered into all the joints and created my own buttons. So now when you press all these buttons, this one will turn off the glasses. This one will turn uh, the brightness up. This one will turn the brightness down. These will turn off and on the lights and put it in different modes. And obviously you can wire it to anything you want. Now I, I put padding on here and I kind of made my own design. It doesn't look great, okay? I kind of messed up. It was, it looks a little rough, but it's okay. It's, it's a sample. Now, there's a couple things that I wanted to change on this. First, I wanted to change the hinges. I was kind of running out of time. I wanted to do this project in under a month. So I didn't really have time or the patience to make custom metal hinges where these could fold down. There's also a, a, a ribbon strip that goes on the exterior glasses. The problem is I didn't want to have to redesign it and it was very, it's a very stiff cable. So I had to make it work. They are flexible though, because I made the hinges out of metal. So they have some metal flex to it and they are bolted onto this frame of the glasses. And also the glasses I forged with my bare hands. Look at the precision on this. Daddy, wow, look at that. Look at the precision on this. Now I made it red because, well, first off, it looks, it looks pretty cool red. But secondly, I made it red so if someone shoots a laser in your eye, Eh, you ain't gonna be blinded because obviously these aren't for regular people. They're not for like the average citizen who's gonna walk around with this. But let me show you what people are not gonna walk around with because these glasses are just a sample of what's actually made. Okay, so this is the daddy vest right here. This is, it doesn't look very, okay. So if you walked into a mall with this, it's not gonna look like good, okay? This is only half of it. This is custom wiring that I all did. So I actually took this custom wiring. There was no actual diagram for the M2 Mac Mini. So I kind of had to just go off what I, what I thought would work. And I custom did all the wiring and I wired it up into a USB-C thing. I actually have the full video on my shorts if you want to see how to do it yourself. This machine cost me, cost about $500. These glasses cost about $120. This whole setup cost under about $800. But let me go over a few other things about this. So this used to be a Stream Deck Mini and I just cut it all up and removed it and then I mounted it inside the plate and carbon fibered it in because I am a sicko like that. Also, we have custom lights here that work with the glasses that all work together. This is all powering everything from cameras to lights to everything. Here is the back side of it. Now it's a little rough now. Okay, don't don't mind. I was gonna clean it up a little more than this, but this is the back end of it. Usually I do a better job than this. I actually had to switch out one of my USB ports at the last minute. So it's kind of a little janky because um, somehow that went out or something like that. Cause I modified, I took it from my old computer. That it doesn't matter. And then I have it Velcroed right here. So if I ever need to change anything, right here we have an antenna, which I'm gonna show you what that's for in a second. What's special about this is when I connect these glasses, I made this special USB cable that just goes like this. And all that has to happen is for me to push this button and now I have a light. What else I could do with this light, all I have to do to turn off this light is just rub my hand in the back because also this button has a spotlight feature. So if I want to have a spotlight, which I'm gonna show you at night, custom made spotlight feature and also if I wanna just go insano mode right here, I can go insano mode and and I can really mess someone's uh, day up with this. Now, there's a lot of features that I wanted to extra add to this. I have night vision camera that I have made already, 
um, that can be mounted on here. This is all stuff that can be incorporated into a Mac Mini. Amongst a lot of other things on this, I can add attachments to anything. I can put more lights on this, no problem. There's a secondary battery on this. So even if the computer runs out of battery, this is the main power cable for the battery. You can plug it into any USB-C charger port. Um, so this has everything. I can watch shows through this. I can watch TV. I have facial scanning, which I'm gonna show you. I have facial detection. And here's the cover I built for it. This is out of, made out of ASA carbon fiber. This just goes right on top of here. And then it screws on top for a super clean look that I'm going to mount it on and show you everything. But there's actually one last thing I want to show you. This right here is not a gun because obviously I'm in Thailand. If I had a real gun, I have to use this. I don't want to even test the waters. I'm gonna, I don't want to go over to Thai prison for 40 years. But the gun's not important. And it's these two modules that I made. So this one actually has a battery that's built into it that has about 500 milliamps. I made it magnetized. I actually made, there's magnets all around this. It's all wired up into this. It has tactile switches so you can turn on the lights with this. What are you doing? What are you going at, Evan? What are you talking about? Well, this is actually the secondary module I made for it. Now, this actually has an FPV camera. Yes, I could use digital camera, but that was very expensive. I didn't want to spend the budget on this just so you get an idea. What I'm doing is this is an FPV analog camera built into this. And then remember that little light that I've shown in my video? Well, this is actually the light that I integrated into it. I built a custom 3D housing for it. Custom mounting. Uh, this is also magnetic pin connector with a fan. So the fan actually blows and or sucks all the air out of it um, because it does get a little warm in there. And so I just built a custom fan into it. That plugs in and automatically runs at temperature. And then when you put these two and two together, you have a mate of a century. Now, I could just flick it like that and you blind someone, but what's this for? Okay, well, this is the fun part. This is uh, this is all I designed. So I, let's just make off this is a real gun. I wanted to do a real gun, but you know. But, so I have a mounting bracket on the bottom that I custom designed for this. And all you do is slide this on like this and it locks into place, okay? And then you have this where this now just hooks onto here. Oh no, it's a, it's a gun mount. Now, when I go around, let's say, hypothetically, I am a law enforcement or military. Let's say I have a bigger gun than this, or I'm a police officer. Now I can hit people with a flash. You know, I can hit them with the flash, or I can go around corners and stream wirelessly in real time with zero latency, because it's a analog camera, right to this antenna into my computer that I'm going to show you. Instead of looking around a corner and going like this, I could just reach my hand around a corner subtly and I could just, because it's already gonna lock on target. I actually have a targeting app that I built for this. It's a program that I built that targets humans and it also monitors. So if there's any other foot traffic in the room, it will tell me how many targets are in there. It will also tell me location, but wait, is that, is that all? No, because you could take this off. You can mount it on a chest. You can mount it on a chest somewhere. You could mount this on an FPV drone. All you have to take off is just pull this off, mount it on an FPV drone or a drone or a robot or anything, or even a wall with that just has a five volt battery on it. As, as simple, as small as something like this. And then you'll be able to see in a far distance everything that passes by and it will alert you. So you could just attach this to different places. You put this on a dog collar and you can walk around and with your glasses, you'll be able to see exactly everything in real time, zero latency, because it's analog and it's shitty, quality shitty, but it is, it's fast and it's quick and it's kind of reliable. People use it for FPV drones, going around buildings and stuff. So this is, this is actually a sick system. Now you could add as many modules and many camera view angles as everything because everything is obviously programmed right here. So when I want to just adjust an angle, if I want to adjust a camera, if I want to use, have a secondary phone, I can put as many cameras. I have night vision mode and everything and I'm going to show you that here soon. Let me start putting some of this stuff on and let me show you how everything works. Yeah, it says Pornhub on the top one. Okay, so right now I'm recording my screen. So right when I turn on this, now, as soon as I get you in my sights, you're a target. So going around here, I can go and see you, and then I can get you. Right there. 
and it zooms in at the top of the head. So even when I'm around the corner like this, I can see where you are. So let's say I'm coming in a room and I'm, I'm coming in hot. Okay, so I can have you targeted right here and it zooms right into your face. And then if I want to hit you with the, the Flasher 5000, I can go crazy, berserker mode. And I can see you. When you see me, you're probably going blind right now. And then you don't even see me, I'm coming in hot. Like. And then if I want to come through here, like this. So I have all my presets here, so I could select. If I want to exit something, I can just go like that. And then for ChatGPT, let's say I want to go, find me a local restaurant that's good to eat. And then when I hold this button, it'll start searching for a restaurant. It's actually looking for a restaurant right now. And then also, if this is too bright, I can hit this side button and it'll turn off my screen and I can see you perfectly. And I can keep adjusting so it gets lower and lower. And then obviously I got the light that I can go here. Basically, I don't need a controller at all. I can adjust everything on the fly directly with this. Right now, my screen is completely like, I can see you perfectly. I have my desktop window open. So if there's anything that I need to go into, I have a bunch of presets, websites. I have Spotify. If I want to listen to me some music here, let's say this, this is too bright. All I have to do is hold this button and it turns down to the lowest brightness so nobody can see me. Double tap will keep it open so it'll like brighten up to the max. Then my map I can also pop up on my screen. What I'm looking at right now is actually a map of my current location. So I have it in quadrants. So wherever I want the, the map to be, I just hit this button right here. So right now I can put it down or up. You can't see it in the screen, but what I'm doing right now is making the map bounce up and down. And then I can have different maps of different things and I can adjust them. Now, if I want to go crazy berserker mode right here, I just hold down this button. I can really f some people up. As I was editing my video, I forgot a couple things to mention. First, these glasses. So you might notice these hooks on the back of these. These are actually to hook around your head. There's actually a strap that will hook it and secure these glasses when you're wearing them. So that's one thing that I had forgotten to mention in the video. Second thing I forgot to mention in the video is this module that I made. This is actually a USB-C charger. So all you have to do to charge it is plug a USB-C in the bottom of it and charge it like this and it's charging up. So theoretically when you have this and you put this in here like that, it can charge while you, it can charge. So the battery life on this should be a good about for about 20 minutes or so with the camera, but then you can turn it on and off when you need to. Last thing, the mode on the computer. Let me show you that. Okay, so what you couldn't see on my glasses was actually me seeing this exact screen on my glasses. Now this can do a bunch of different modes. As you can see here at the bottom, you can see that there is actual, you can see where I'm shown and there's a second person that's showing here. So as soon as my face touches this, it goes in here and it aims. Now I can switch the camera view in my glasses so I can have different camera views and now so basically this is the camera, just to give you an idea. And then if you want, I have a night vision mode right here. So when you press this, it goes into night vision mode. And uh, basically it does the same thing. It just helps with lighting. So you can go out and it, it's good with night vision. But yeah, you could just switch the cameras and it does a bunch of other things like this and just switches back and forth. So all you have to do is I have a hot trigger on this vest that when you press it, you can switch different camera modes and you could do the night vision mode, but you couldn't really see it on the glasses. so. I'm showing you the same program on my computer. So basically that is it. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you want to invest in me, um, I will take investment. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, I just opened 30 tabs on my own website.